Here is your latest African news. Ethiopia Africa refuses to betray Ethiopia as the UN Human Rights Council considers EU draft resolution on Ethiopia. The UN Human Rights Council will meet on the 17th of December to consider a misinformed EU draft resolution on Ethiopia calling for an investigation into abuses committed by all parties since late 2020. The special session is being held at the request of the European Union with the support of the 17 Human Rights Council, non-African member countries including France, the United Kingdom and 36 other observer countries including the United States and Canada. Over 50 non-African countries supported the resolution bringing back colonial era, meeting in Africa to decide her fate. All 13 African members refused to support the EU resolution in support for their fellow African country. Africa-wide UK removes all African countries from their racist so-called red list. The United Kingdom has removed all 11 African countries from its red list. The bans were first imposed last month in order to slow the spread of the Omicron variant. The bans restricted travel between those states and the UK with only British or Irish nationals or those with residency in the UK being allowed to re-enter the country. The affected African countries included Angola, Botswana, Eswatini, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, Nigeria, South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. It follows speculation from the travel industry that the red list would be abandoned once Omicron had spread beyond the control of travel bans. Earlier in the week, it overtook Delta as a dominant variant in London, accounting for over 50% of cases. The move follows anger from African countries, with the UN describing the ban on non-UK residents entering England as travel appetite. Mali Joy as French troops finally leave Mali's symbolic Timbuktu town French military forces have finally left Timbuktu nine years after they helped Malian troops recapture the city from Islamic insurgents. This week, a French general handed over a symbolic wooden key to a Malian officer before his troops pulled out of their base to much joy of the locals who saw the troops as invaders themselves. France is gradually reducing its operation in northern Mali as relations with Mali's government have soured since last year. Kenya Kenya court suspends COVID vaccine order. A Kenyan court this week suspended a government decision banning people who are not fully vaccinated against COVID-19 from entering certain public buildings and popular places such as the national parks, bars, and restaurants. The government had announced last month that from December 21st, it will be mandatory to present a vaccination certificate to access certain public services such as hospitals, schools, tax centers, and immigration offices. A judge temporarily suspended this decision pending the review of an appeal filed by a businessman calling the directive tyrannical and a clear violation of the constitution. Some organizations, including the NGO Human Rights Watch, have deemed the directive discriminatory and called on the government to withdraw the full vaccination requirement. West Africa Accra Fashion Week hosts West African designers the fifth edition of Accra Fashion Week has brought West African designers for a weekend of runway shows after last year's break from the COVID-19 pandemic. As the runways get busy, the newest local and West African trends will be shown and with a huge platform of the internet, most of these designers are hoping their designs may be shown anywhere in the world. Some of these designers have also started operations outside the borders of Ghana and some others have also started exporting abroad to appeal to bigger audiences. Accra Fashion Week is a four-day event in which key players of the industry in West Africa gather together to discuss the business of fashion and to showcase their designs. DRC and Congo Brazzaville Congolese rumba wins UNESCO World Heritage status. One of the most influential genres of African music and dance, Congolese rumba, now has UNESCO protected status. It is a culmination of campaigning by two countries, the Democratic Republic of Congo and neighboring Congo Brazzaville. They both occupy what was once the ancient kingdom of Congo, where the sinuous dance originated according to the two nations joint application. The word rumba itself comes from the Kikongo word for navel, mkumba. Congolese rumba joins other living traditions such as Jamaican reggae music and Singaporean hawker food on UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Among the earliest heroes of Congolese rumba, Wendo Kolosoi, Paul Nkamba, Franco and TPOK Jazz, Tabule Reuch, and Dr. Nico. Eritrea Eritrean Biniam Girme was named Africa's best cyclist. 
Eritrean cyclist Biniam Girmi has been named Africa's Best Cyclist of the Year by organizers of the La Tropical Amesa Bongo, an annual cycling tour held in Gabon. The 21-year-old clinched his second consecutive award ahead of South African Ryan Gibson and two of his countrymen, Mahawi Kudis and Henok Mulubrahan. Eritreans dominate cycling competitions in Africa in almost all categories both at the individual and at the national team level. The Horn of African Nation has recorded six wins at the Men's Elite African Road Championships more than any other country in the last decade. The country's biggest feat globally came at the 2005 Tour de France when Daniel Tekle Hymenot became the first African to wear the polka dot jersey and Mahawi Kudus then 21 was the field's youngest rider. Thanks for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tunacheki to watch our daily news reports and our website tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. Also, don't forget to catch the return of our show Africa in the News on our channel. You can directly support this news series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a Patreon. And remember, Africa is watching.